I am looking for a partner who would finance the construction of an experimental straw gasifier. It is designed for input of big straw bales in one piece, so there is no need to cut straw. Now I will tell you interesting facts I learned about straw gasification. They are based on an in-depth study of the rare information that appeared in Soviet periodicals before World War II. To my knowledge, the USSR was the only country that managed to create a small downdraft gasifier on straw. The developers spent two years finalizing a prototype that would work on 5 to 10 mm long straw mesh. Then they put it into production where they made small stations producing about 10 kilowatts of electricity at collective farms. In general, there were about 10 people involved in straw gasifying. They filed about 20 patents, each of which was interesting in its own way. Those Soviet engineers who have studied straw gasification in depth told the following. Direct combustion of straw in boilers or conventional furnaces, for example, is four times faster than if this fuel is gasified. During tests of the direct combustion of straw in stoves and its gasification, it turned out that the gasifier with the same amount of output energy burned three times less straw. That is, if the stove burned three kilograms of straw per hour, the gasifier burned one kilogram. Surprisingly, both the furnace and the gasifier produced the same amount of energy. Normally, a gasifier always uses only 30% less fuel than a direct combustion boiler. But here it burned as much as three times less and the inventors figured it out practically. In 1935, the developers were tasked with creating a simple straw gasifier. After two years of research, in 1937, they started its mass production. But then the war broke out. During World War II, there was nothing to crush and dry straw, so a simple method was required. Therefore, it was not a good life that forced the inventors to create a very reliable and simple gasifier able to work on whole bales of straw. They did the best they could in those days. And the inventors made an ingenious gasifier from ordinary bricks. Surprisingly, it had no lid, and the straw bales were fed into it continuously. When I read this work, the final vision of a straw bale industrial gasifier design formed in my mind. As I said earlier, during the war, one of the Soviet engineers designed a similar gasifier and tested it in operation, and then patented it. It was this patent that motivated me to design a similar gasifier. I have published the review of this gasifier in the sponsored section. You can read the corresponding description in the channel playlists. I have accumulated a huge practical and theoretical experience in operating lidless gasifiers, and now quantity has turned into quality, and I want to create an industrial gasifier working on straw bales, just like it was done during the war. A little digression on why I want to do this and how I will do it. If you've watched my past videos, you remember, I said that the time has already come when low-grade fuels, which were considered waste, will be used. I have devoted a whole series of videos to this topic on my channel. I talked about the gasification of agricultural waste, peat, biosludge, manure, and other things in these videos. Many of those who contacted me lived in steppe regions far from forests. There is nothing other than straw that can be used as fuel. For example, half of Ukraine, its eastern part, is devoid of forests. But there is a huge amount of straw. I invite those interested in such a gasifier to finance the creation of an experimental straw gasifier model. It will look like a column in which straw bales will be loaded from above with the help of a manipulator or another way. The figure shows its general concept. It's an open lidless gasifier. A large straw bale is loaded from its top with a forklift. This is the way bales are loaded into modern straw boilers. The gasifier column height equals the height of two bales. A bale or a roll is 1.5 meters high. Therefore, the gasifier shaft measured from the grate will be 3 meters in height. Its diameter is slightly larger than the diameter of a straw bale and is about 1.6 to 1.7 meters. The bales are placed on the grate. The gas is sucked out from under the grate. The experimental gasifier will produce from 1 to 2 megawatts per hour. Straw approximately equals wood chips in calorific value. So, 1 kilogram of straw will produce 3.7 kilowatts of heat energy. Two bales stacked in a shaft will gasify for about 5 hours producing 1 megawatts and about 2.5 hours producing 2 2 megawatts. The ash content of straw is small and is about 4%. Wood ash content is 1%. Therefore, not much ash will be released. 
straw bales will move downwards under their weight. Gasification of the straw will occur along the entire height of the gasifier shaft. This is a very simple and reliable gasifier tried and tested in the USSR during World War II. Most importantly, it can be built in one month. In terms of cost, it is hundreds, even thousands of times cheaper and easier than similar fluidized bed gasifiers around the world, which gasify straw and grass after pre-drying to 10 to 15% humidity and cutting to 10 millimeters, otherwise they will not work. My version is much simpler, faster, and cheaper. Whoever builds and demonstrates this gasifier will be flooded with orders for the rest of his life. My WhatsApp is below the video. I am waiting for your call, do not delay. See you soon.